Do you guys see the difference in my eyebrows? Let's ask Mitch what he thinks. Babe, what did you say about my eyebrows again? Um, they missed a couple spots. <laughs> 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 you know what? They look beautiful. Mm, thank you. You try to kiss me before I was talking. I do that all the time. He always mm -hmm. kisses me when I'm talking to shut me up. No. Yes, you do. No, I say, do you want to know the real reason? I'll, I'll tell everyone now, and I've never told you this. But when she's talking, I look at her lips, you know, pay attention <laughs> to her, and her lips are so beautiful when she's talking. And I'm just like, oh, I need to kiss you. <laughs> Should I bring my roly? Your roly? Should I bring it? Your roly? My roller? No. Why? Huh? Are we gonna be out here for long? Because it has a seat, so you can sit. Oh, really? Yeah. Then grab it. This All is right. the Roly. This is the Zuka cart. If you're a nerd like me. Zuka. Z. U. C. A. Zuka. <laughs> I would recommend if you're in the. Is this the seat? Yes. Yeah. You have cup holders in the back. Such. Put it in here. Just like so. This is not the bag that it's meant for, but it fits anyways. I wish I had my soccer ball, but that's okay. So, like, when if, if like we're waiting for someone, mm -hmm. to like go ahead of us, we can let them use the bench, and we can just sit down. Wow. Mm -hmm. Big ballin'. <laughs> The booty! <laughs> Why? It's a beautiful course in Stillwater, Minnesota with my beautiful girl. <laughs> yep. And I uh, I painted this scenery and I'll show you my paintings oh, yeah, soon. You did, huh? Yep. Show them the ice rink so they can get a better idea. Oh yeah, and it had this ice rink in it. Didn't have the basketball hoop because I'm sorry, but I'm not a basketball fan. Whatever, that's not why you painted it. I know, I know. Well but no, I did take the picture of the hockey rink because I like hockey. Oh well that makes sense. Yeah. You did get really Yep. So you want to aim for this little enclave of trees. Nice. These trees are super tall, skinny, and it's super windy, as you can probably tell because you probably can't hear me. No? Yeah, I was just saying, like, these trees are so skinny. There we go. Nice. Is it gonna be a good one? I hit the I hit the gap. What's difficult about this one is you have to make it past this tree, but you have to curve right before you hit those back trees. Beautifulness. Oh, forgot this back there. Nice, baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today's vlog. <laughs> my nephew's laughing at me. Yep, I'm in my natural state, hair, scarf, and everything. My nephew's so cute. Look at him. Hi, my love. Are you swinging? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, cutie pie. That's my brother. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my nephew, William. And that's my brother. Say hi, Terrell. What's up? You guys have probably seen him in other vlogs. They call him Chubb on the swing. Oh, he wants to vlog. You want to vlog? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Yay! Look at you. Are you 
vlogging? Vlogger. Vlogger. Is that uncle being silly? Is uncle being silly? <laughs> Do you guys see this? Ah! Oh, his back teeth are growing in. You're so cute. You're becoming a big boy now. <laughs> Do you want TT to push you? Yeah. He wants to vlog so bad. <laughs> are you vlogging, TT? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Today is Saturday. We're just continuing the vlog from yesterday. <laughs> You gotta hold it up so they can see me. There you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to push you? Okay. Woohoo! I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but Mitch went frolfing, and my mom and I and the baby are gonna go to the grocery store. Did we get locked out? He goes with this bear every time he comes over. <laughs> This bear in my room that Mitch got me for Valentine's Day. Can you give him a hug? Give him a hug and give him a kiss. Mwah. So sweet. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's never coming back. Nope. Chub, can you bring him? Oh, can you bring him back? What do you want, baby? He wants this thing right here, this jumpy thing, and then he sees all of these and he's so happy. You want that? Should we tell mama that's what you want? Okay. <laughs> oh, he wants these toys so bad, mom. Chubb, we'll come back and get the toys later, okay? You wanna see the lobsters? Get grandma one. Grab it. Go grab it. <laughs> Don't do it like this. Go touch it. Ah! Beautiful <laughs> sunset. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we are leaving Starbucks Coffee. To get ice cream. We're gonna go get some ice cream from Cold Stone because Mitch deserves it. Because we came to the coffee shop to like do homework and study and I did not do that. I was editing a video the whole time. But finals are here so Mitch has been writing a lot of papers, studying for final exams. And I have not been doing that even though I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm trying to graduate so. I know. He graduates on Mother's Day! Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of him! I'm so proud of you. Sorry, I'm like tired because I've know. been writing so much. If people are wondering if we're going to be filming more, we are. I'm just Definitely. trying to get through school here. I'm trying to graduate. Yeah. I'm trying to be on the grind a little bit. That's why we haven't been posting as frequently, but Severn's almost here and Mitch is going to be done with school, so we'll definitely have way more time to like make videos and actually like edit them and get them out like either the same day or the next day. And on that note, we've been talking about this a lot. Cause she's going through school and she's you know thinking whether or not it's the right path for her right now you mm -hmm. know whether or not she should go later um, when she's more in a mindset for it if you're also thinking about that just know that in my opinion you don't need to go to school I wasn't ready when I first got out of high school I probably wasn't ready when I went back either I didn't fully get into it until much later and then I got into it. So some people just peak at a different time yeah. for it, you know. I don't know if I'm ever going to peak, though. <laughs> like, hey, uh, my mom, not for me. My mom didn't get her bachelor's in, until she was in her 30s. Oh, really? You know, so... Did I just, she, like, go to school for a little bit and then she left nope, and went school ahead. just wasn't her thing. Yeah. Uh, my dad went to college, though, but uh, mm -hmm. she she didn't go till much later. She was a car salesman, then a firefighter. Saleswoman. Sales. Saleswoman. Sales there woman. we go. <laughs> there we there go. We go. Um, yeah, she was a saleswoman, car saleswoman. Mm -hmm. Car saleswoman. Doesn't a sound. Car saleswoman. Doesn't sound as whatever. Good, but whatever. She was a firefighter, EMT, then a paramedic, and then she went to school for communication. Now she's a nurse, so she went back to be a nurse. And now <laughs> she's back at it again. <laughs> now she's back at it again because I think she wants to be a nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. But so she's killing it. 
She's so killing it. That you, woman is crazy. Yeah. So if you're just, going back and forth between this, just know, I mean, you don't, you don't have to choose college, right? Yeah. I mean, because it is a big investment. It's so much debt, you know what I mean? And you have to be ready to pay that off. And you have to have a mindset or like a goal, a career goal in mind to go. You know? mm -hmm. And so that's just something we've been talking about uh, lately. Um, and the reason for like me not wanting to go to school right now besides what Mitch said like the mind like being in the right mindset to do it and have a career goal is that it's so expensive and it would just be so much smarter for me to wait like a year to gain residency in Texas so that I can get in-state tuition which is like background she wants to go to school in Texas if yeah. you're new here we it, live in Minnesota yeah. so we have to move there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah it would just be way cheaper and a smarter decision financially in the long run because like Mitch said you're gonna be in so much debt and yeah. it's just like I don't know if it's worth it at this point to be in that much debt especially if I'm not like mentally prepared to go to school at the moment so that's just something to think about or that we've been thinking about praying about mm -hmm. talking about a lot because we need to figure it out soon. We're supposed to move in August if I do go to school, but my mind is somewhere else right now, so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do. And she has touched on another good point. Um, we have been praying a lot about this, um, about everything, our move in Texas, and we believe that's important, um, not just to thank God for what he has given us, but also to remember him when you are in times of crisis, conflict and problems, mm -hmm. Um, you need to remember that you need to have God on your side. Since Mitch brought that up, I just wanted to share like a little story with you guys. Something that happened to me. I don't know what it was. I don't even know if it was anything at all. But I was in bed reading the Bible and I was thinking about like, because earlier that day Mitch and I were talking about like, oh, the move to Texas and like what are we going to do and stuff like that. And I was just really worried about it and doubtful. So I was looking through the Bible and I came across Matthew 21, verse 21. I'm going to read the verse because I don't remember it. It says, Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done. And then after I read that, I just started like bawling. My <laughs> name wasn't in the room. Something just like resonated with me and it just felt like super relatable <laughs> I don't even know if that's like the word to give it justice but it was just something in me you know, I know <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's the great thing about scripture you know I mean any type of scripture no matter what religion you're in you know, it's, it's usually really relatable it tells us what we need to do, how to keep our mindset focused on where we're going. Um, and it sparks something in us, you know. I like to think of all of us have, have a light within us that needs to be kindled. And religious scripture, no matter which one really, I truly believe that, sparks within you that light. And then with that in mind, we can give that light to other people. You know, I, I truly believe that it, it's necessary to keep lighting it, you know. Mm -hmm. And you telling that story just makes me so in love with you. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm just so lucky to have someone like you. So I'm that, a crybaby. Yeah, guys. she is a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what makes her so lovable. I hope you enjoyed our a talk about, a, yeah, a little segment about uh, college, God, scripture religion because we enjoyed it this week we're going to post the interreligious video yeah. for all of you people who have been patiently waiting thank yeah. you for sticking around yeah. and we'll, we'll try to do a specific examples of how we've both kind of interacted with each other's religion and i guess in many ways it's easier for me because i converted to judaism so i know a lot about Christianity in general, mm -hmm. and I've already practiced that previously, but uh, we're going to get the ice cream. Bye.